Beautiful. Perfect. Thunk. If you are wondering what this is, this is the 1955 George Benedict F1B Wakefield. It is considered by many to be the world's first modern Wakefield. It was built under the uh, rules change of 1957, uh, which abolished rise off ground, fuselage cross sections, etc. Cut the rubber allotment to 50 grams. And so this airplane was one that took uh, the most advantage of that. Uh, by switching to a complete rolled tube fuselage, tapered rolled tube, tail boom, pylon mounted wing, etc., which is basically the modern configuration for open class rubber models. Uh, and this was uh, really largely a, a dominant uh, plan form for Wakefield uh, and Coop into the mid 1990s when carbon took over completely. And so the plan form changed somewhat, although it's still the same concept of a hollow motor tube, tapered tail boom, uh, pylon mounted wing, etc., cetera, um, and tip dihedral. So why am I telling you all this? I'm telling you this because there is a new contest for outdoor rubber-powered free flight sponsored by National Free Flight Society. It is the Vintage Wakefield event, and this airplane is eligible for and competitive in that event. What you saw was partial power. I've also got uh, three or four blown strands in that rubber motor, as you saw it, and it still went up pretty nice in that thermal. Um, short kits are available on our website. I don't have the hardware for propellers and whatnot. However, you can get a, a suitable propeller from ValerProducts.com, or you can build your own using a, tor tu nah, <laughs> a tutorial that's coming up uh, fairly soon on our website. Uh, so some things of that nature are available. Uh, FAIModelSupply.com has some of the bearings and hardware that you would want to, to make this a really nice uh, first class airplane. You'll need your own strip wood and wood for your motor tube, but we supply the ribs and uh, some of the sheet balsa parts, nose, uh, nose cone, things of that nature, and then you fill in the rest. So fairly straightforward build, thanks to the short kit we've got. We've got jigs to get that beautiful, beautiful under camber in the wing there. And just, uh, I guess one thing I'll close it out with is just give you one more glimpse of the amazing glide that Benedict was able to create. And so DT is locked back down and just, so wonderfully floaty. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.